Boucho, the, the time tunnel's opening up. There's, there's someone coming through. No, it's not Charles Dickens. Stop going on about Charles Dickens. Oh, oh. Uh, who, uh, who are you? Don't you recognise me? I'm Queen Victoria. <gasps> and we are not Hello, it's Thursday morning, but no ordinary Thursday morning. Oh no, if you're watching Hacker's Birthday Bash yesterday afternoon, you'll know we have a brand new, amazing presenter. She's my good friend. It's right, Nathan, everybody! Yeah! 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 Oh, it's the weirdest thing ever. Like, I'm not in my bedroom. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, we're very used to seeing you in your bedroom. I'm yeah, happy right? to be here. I'm so happy to be here. How I'm, exciting! I'm very excited for you to for you to be here. But uh, as you're here and I'm here, I thought I'd show you the ropes, how it all works here in the CBBC office. Sure. So first, what we do is let our lovely viewers know what's coming up next. That, oh, oh, uh, oh I, I know. Can I, can I give it a go? You're not, you're not quite there no, yet. No, 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 because I can probably... It takes quite long sure. to master. Yeah, sure, but I can I can probably do it. Let me cool. let me give it a go. Yeah, course, Okay, yeah. so, coming up this morning, we've got an amazing lineup for you. We have got Dennis the Menace and Nasha, followed by Sidekick. And then after that, we have got Bakshul's Deadly Adventures. Ooh, Steve, Steve. That, that was quite good yeah. uh, for a beginner. <laughs> but I mean, the way I would do it is a little bit different. Okay, yep. An alternative, if you will. Sure. I'd probably go like this. Hey, I'm Karim. Coming up next, we've got Menace the Dennis and Nash Potato. Steve Bakshul's Animal Girl. Yeah, do you mean Bakshul's Deadly Adventures? Yeah, like I said, you'll get it within time. Yeah, sure. You'll get it in time. Okay, um, and just out of interest, yeah. what is coming up next? What, on this channel? Yeah, 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 on the channel. Probably the. Um, CBBC. No, 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 I mean, like, what show? The show? Um, Sparkles, maybe Sparkle Mystery. It's Dennis the Menace and Nasha. Yeah, like I said, you'll, you'll get it with time. <laughs> what do you mean, who is it? It's Queen Victoria, isn't it? What if you? No, Queen Victoria, she was Queen of England in the 19th century. Oh. Yeah, but she's a very serious lady, though. Oi! What's Hello? going on? I am here, you know! We are not amused! No, no. What are you talking no, no. about? Uh, well, I was just thinking, right? Yeah. It's a privilege to have you here. You're well, all right, good. I'm glad you think so. Uh, you, your voice isn't quite how I expected. Oh, I bet you're expecting the old posh voice, were you? Uh, yeah. I can do it for you if you want. All right, Sir Alcha. I can do it whenever I want, just like that. All right, Sir Alcha. You see what I mean? Oh, right. Well, this is me. This is natural. Yeah. Oh, it's natural. Oh, it's nice. Yeah. 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 Relax, casual. That's it, yeah. Uh, well, look, I, I just want to reassure you, Majesty. Right. Uh, this afternoon, there's going to be no funny business, OK? Oh, we, we run what? a very serious ship here at CBBC. Uh, next up, we've got Best of Friends, which is, which is a very serious programme. Oh, about testing rubbish! Friend. Okay, we're, we're then at 5 o'clock, we've got Whiz Whiz Bang Bang, and that's all about science. Science? I don't yeah. even know what that is! All right, and then at 5.30 we've got the last of Sarah Jane adventures and she tries to save the world and a very noble cause. It sounds awful! Hey, you got no comedy! Oh, you like a laugh, do you? I'm all about the laughs! Oh, right. I bet you thought I was all serious, yeah. didn't you? I'll show you, look, shake my hand! And... <laughs> you hate it! See? It's not comedy at all! Look at this! Is this a serious queen? No. <laughs> <laughs> Some of that was wrong, Ian. Uh, it didn't come out quick enough. Hi, my name's Ian Stoller and I'm an accomplished comedian and television presenter. And right now I'm here to talk to you about a very important subject. That important subject is reality television and whether or not it should be banned! No, don't ban him, Ian, the good top drawer. Name one good thing about him. Johnny Robinson! No one knows who that is. OK, so it's some of your emails, because your children have uh, things that aren't from the 70s to talk about. Becky's up first. Hi, Becky, are you well? Becky says, I think talent shows are silly because all the crying gives me a headache. Tell me about it, sister. Yeah, me too. I've got a headache. Oh, because of all the... because of that little child came in earlier and cried and you felt bad for her. Nah, I think I've eaten too much wheat. 
told you about that. It's wait, Ted! It's because you had that chicken and pesto sani earlier on. Oh, the wait. Oh. Got one here from Grace. <gasps> you just said Grace! Yeah, it wasn't that good, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I pressed the wrong button, but now nah, I brought it back with my comedy abilities. Uh, you can't ban reality TV shows. I've been watching Strictly since I was six. It's a long series. Well, how old are you? Six in two weeks. I didn't deserve one. Also, it's nice to see people get their dreams, Grace. It's not nice to see people realise their dreams. Imagine if... Ugh. Ugh. Imagine if Chris Johnson realised his one true dream. Young girl. <laughs> at bbc.co.uk email in if you want reality shows banned or not banned we'll see you right after splat a lot I hope that never happens in real life yeah me too oh, 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 oh. jalapeno tongue you Yeah. Good afternoon, you're watching CBBC with Shannon and Hacker and we've got Just Kidding coming up next. Four! What? Strike, you're out of here, bullseye! Hole in one, <laughs> upside, handball, leg before working. Hacker, what are you talking about? I'm warming up in a cocker, getting all my fantastic tennis comments in, ready for my lovely commentating on Friday. Oh yeah, you and Lindsay from Blue Peter are doing a bit of Wimbledon commentary, aren't you? Yes, but it's not just me and Lindsay, is it, Cocker? Oh no. Oh? We're joined by a very special guest. Really? Who? Only one of the most famous and talented faces in tennis history. <gasps> not Andy Murray. No, nah, I've interviewed him before. Oh, uh, oh, Serena Williams? No, she got knocked out in the third round and she refused to work with me. Oh, that's a bit awkward, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, what about Nadal? No, it's my friend and yours, Selwyn Fuzzyball. <gasps> Here he comes now, look. He's Would you bit, believe? Look at him gracefully. He's a bit vicious, isn't, isn't he? he? Yes, he's landed in. That, there you go. Yes! He's right. my new best mate, is he? Yeah. So this, this is Selwyn Fuzzyball, and uh, who exactly is he? He's it? my new best mate, isn't he? I met him at Wimbledon last week, right? Oh, right. And since then, we do everything together. And he will never, ever leave my side again! Oh no! He's gone! Where are you going, Selwyn? Come back! Oh, Selwyn! Oh, he has gone. But where, when, why, how and why oh, again? I don't know, Hacker. He could be anywhere by now. He's just left. Well, I'll tell you what we should do. What? Why don't we ask the guys at home where he's gone? <laughs> it's... Good idea, yeah, yes. Let's do it, yes. Yeah. Oh. at bbc.co.uk. Email in if you have spotted Selwyn Fuzzyball knocking about here somewhere. Take a picture, let us know. Could be in your cupboard, could be in your garden. Keep an eye out. It could be in your love conversion, it, rummaging at that insulation stuff. He likes that. It could indeed. Right, take a picture, email in and let us know if you've seen him. But right now, it's time for Just Kidding. I think I can see him. I can see him. Look, he's... A oh, no. It's a mouldy old bat. I'm actually a powerful actor. So I'm going to do some powerful acting right now for you guys. Hello, I'm Simon Cowell, answering phones for a living. There you go, Simon Cowell there, powerfully acted. We've got an email here from Olivia. Olivia says you can't ban talent shows because we wouldn't get to see people who can't sing humiliating themselves. I do I agree with this, Olivia. I don't know anybody who would humiliate themselves by singing badly on television. Hit it! Hacker, stop it! Oi, right, what's wrong? Stop! What? Chris has already done that. Yenko's danced about. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have. And I'll have my wig back. Thanks. No! Oh! Yenko! CBBC at bbc.co.uk. Email and if you do or don't want reality TV programmes banned. We'll see you right after Tracy Peacock. <laughs> Look at Yenko. I was Yentled. Check us on TV, working in perfect harmony. Is that all right? Hang on to your hats, cos this song's a belter. Variety wind-up, Scooby-Doo, Daredevil, News Round 2. Danny
Bunny's castle! Pack a time! Am I high? Mighty fine! Blue, Peter, Wolf, Blood, Fierce, Earth, all good, diddy movies, not enough! Ministry of Curious Stuff! No way you're gonna take off! And Miss Junia Bake Off! Farmer Roy! Sadie J! Absolute genius, we all say! We're CBBC and you know it! And whatever you want, yes, we show it! All the time! Twelve again! Dumping ground! Are there better shows around? Friday download! Glory games! Other channels feel the shame! Hero Squad, yes please! Horrible history! Miss this! Disgrace! All over the place! Marrying Mum and Dad! I tell you what, these shows ain't bad! Brilliant, deadly, pole to pole! And wizards and aliens top it all! The CBBC and you know it! And whatever you want, yes we show it! All the time! And check us online! What a lovely voice, Chris. Queen Victoria, I've yeah. the whole of the BBC. There's no swan cake to be found. No, oh, Edmund, you're rubbish! Never mind! Me and my little green friend... Oh, <laughs> we're having a right old laugh anyway. It doesn't matter. Look at these. Here, bring some more of these young wow. cat wallets. OK, all right. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, go Emily on. from Devon emailed this in. She says, have I ever told you the joke about the butter? No. Uh, better not. You might spread it. Oh, oh, <laughs> I'll spread the butter. That's brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Sarah in Ottershaw <laughs> says, What did the red traffic light say to the green traffic light? I don't know! Don't look, I'm changing! Oh, don't get red! I have no idea what traffic light is! Oh, no, okay, no. I don't know. I'm sure it's uh, brilliant! Oh, she also says, uh, P.S. Queen Victoria, you're mad! Oh, what's her name? Sarah in Ottershaw. Be careful, Sarah. Be careful. OK, uh, Billy in France. Yeah, what's who that? watches in France as well? No, oh, lovely, lovely! Uh, it says, Doctor, Doctor, I think yeah. I need glasses. What? Yes, you do. This is a florist, sir. <laughs> oh, you can't buy glasses out of florists! Yeah, yeah. You can't go! Yeah. It's out flowers! Yeah, oh, I've yeah, got, got a question here for you. Oh. Annabelle says, I've got a question for you. Right. Uh, why do you always say, we are not amused? Is it just like a catchphrase or something? All right, well... If you're that clever, you'd have noticed the catchphrase is We am not amused! Wow. Get your English proper! Wow. <laughs> it's the Queen's English you speak, isn't it? Oh, it is my English I speak, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> There's another one here from Sir, uh, Samranjit. Okay. And he says, uh, Queen Victoria, yep. if you're a woman and a queen, I think you look like a man. Oh. Uh, you really need to shave your moustache. It's oh. growing. Get some new clothes and stop bothering Ed and the cactus. Oh! I've got feelings on Randit. I've got feelings. Anyway, would you like the jokes anyway? I like the jokes. I like it here. I love my little new friend. I think I may stay here forever. Wow. <laughs> Sunday, we've got loads of great shows coming your way this morning, like Pet Squad, that's coming up next. Then we've also got Spallat a lot on the way. But before all that, I just need to give Chris a little something. Oh, Katie, you shouldn't have, no, really, you shouldn't have. Why have you given me this? Well, young co, you know, it's Father's Day today, isn't it? Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there, especially mine. And, uh, you know, Hacker and Dodge see you as a father figure, don't they? So obviously, I had to buy the card on their behalf, but it's a Father's Day card for you. They see me as a father figure? Yeah. Why? Well, it's probably just because you've always been here in the CBBC office. Like, you were here when CBBC first started, weren't you? No. Yeah, you were. Look! Hello, children. You're watching the BBC Home Service Children's Television Hour. I hope you're sitting comfortably, on the carpet, of course, with your legs crossed and your arms folded. Finger to your lips so as not to disturb mother and father who are working very, very hard. The Children's Hour is only on for one hour, so you best enjoy it. Right. I hate to break this to you, but uh, <laughs> that was a sketch. We filmed that before. In fact, you were there, so. Welcome back, children. I hope you enjoyed Blue Peter's very first episode there. Time now for arts and crafts. I need you to take a used tube of toilet or tissue paper, a bottle of washing up liquid, and together 
we're going to make a tiny kangaroo. Now, Chris, first, stop you... messing around. <laughs> Put the collar back on as well. Oh, come on, we're on in a minute. Wait, what do you? No, I. Good, goodbye, children. I mean, we filmed it this morning, like earlier on. You, you should have known. All right, was... well, whatever. It, it just must be all those long stories you tell them, Chris. You know, it makes you like a dad. Oh, look! If you're going to keep this dad thing going on, I'm turning this car around, and nobody's going to the theme park today. <laughs> you are such a dad. Here's Pet Squad. Back in my day, I tell you. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to the CBBC office. Come up next, it is... No, 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 Ian, no. What? Don't just tell him what's on with your voice, Ian. That's what I do, I use words. No, that's so boring, you can't just say, coming up next, you meh, meh, meh. What's impressive about that? Well, what do you suggest? I'm a wordsmith. Well, I've got a better idea. What? Come down here. Right, okay. Can we get involved? Because what we've got to well, do is, is get it? them things ready. Is this safe? Yeah, they're fine then. Oh, okay, cool. We're now going to teach them what's on next via the medium of dance. Hit it! Right, so uh, that was good. Yeah. <laughs> so what is it? Hmm. Just sure. What's next? Was it not obvious? Rather, I did that. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's easy. Isn't it? Match of the day. Match the days up. Right. Match of the. What? Match of the. Yeah. We Gary Lineker. No, it wasn't. It wasn't that top. Match of the day. What are you talking about? Match of the match day. Match of the day. For... We don't show match of the day. How's that? That is not match of the day. It's raw. <laughs> what? It's raw. It says so. It's raw. What? It's always raw. Well, what's this then? Raw. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> That's match of the day. Ian. What? Give me those things. To what? You give me them. You will not see these again. Here's raw. We'll be back this afternoon at 4 p.m. Raw. All right. Great. Great news, Edmund. Yeah. There was a BBC! They reckon there's enough room in this office for all three of us and I can stay here forever! Oh, well, great. Oh, it's all about the laugh! Hear it? We have most of news! I'll just go and get my bags and then I'll move in forever! I'll see you in a minute, yeah? See you, yeah, Joe! Oh, my goodness! What on earth is that? become a beast! Oh. oh, that means the timelines are in flux. There's a whole torn in the fabric of time and space. And I've done... Oh, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Some of that was wrong, Ian. It didn't come on quick enough. <laughs> right, so the time has come to reveal whether animals are banned or not banned. And bringing in the result is my lovely assistant, Lindsay from Blue Peter, with Iggy the Pro. Perez team, CBBC office, how are we doing? Good, that's good to see Who's you. Who's this, Ian? Oh, oh. Ah, Chris, it's got Iggy, me... Iggy, Iggy, I'm please. so sorry. Oh, sorry I'm, I'm I know it means it she's fuming, and let's face it, she's been trying to ban she's, animals all afternoon. She's livid. She's 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 just, just, she can't believe it. We're not really for this. <laughs> Chris, please! <laughs> Look, Hacker, you Next shouldn't have been dog. trying to ban Iggy all afternoon. I told right. you I want these things banned. <laughs> Look, it's a... Oh, dear. It's your final chance, Hacks. <laughs> Yeah. Look into those beady little eyes. All right. <laughs> really closely. All right, yeah. They're not that closely. <laughs> Tell me, should animals be banned? Oh, well, let her look then. Um, yes, they should be banned. <laughs> he thinks they should. I made a jump. Lindsay, do you have the results? <laughs> I do, just uh, under here. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Let's see, ladies and gentlemen. What's the result? Animals have. Not been banned no, every time. Oh, okay, you might as well stay. Then. You won that one, Iggy. Well done. <laughs> no, oh, get off. Well, thank you so much for coming Chris. in. We'll see you in Iggy, a bit. Iggy, gently, it's gently. gently. Keep away from the dog. <laughs> Well, I must say, I'm very glad that day's over. That butler outfit was really uncomfortable. You'd like to have tried swan cake. Ah. Yeah, I think I'd rather give it a miss myself. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. She's a killer queen. Got mad and gelatine. Dynamite with a laser beam. Guaranteed to blow your mind. Ooh, recommended at the price. Say 
insatiable an appetite. Wanna try?